so we have 15 years of talent acquisition experience working both in-house and in agencies for really high growth global companies. That's right. And we went to a recruiting conference in Boston and it was really uninspiring. Mm -hmm. The speakers were not talking about anything progressive. They weren't addressing the human side of business and a lot of the concerns and problems that we were hearing that were really notable in the industry. And there was this moment in the conference where you and I looked at each other and we were like, we could do this. <laughs> and we could do it better is what we thought <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. So we came home and we started our side hustle. We both had full-time corporate big jobs and we started Talent Lab where we hosted talent acquisition conferences and really focused on developing ourselves and our skills as an industry, which just wasn't happening. So it was really cool to see how many people really gravitated towards us. Yeah. And over the course of several years, we put on six conferences and they really grew and snowballed to the point where we had people not only from the talent acquisition community, we had HR, we had CEOs, we had founders, and our final conference we sold out at 300 people. Right. So one really cool thing that came out of the conferences is that people wanted to hire us. They wanted to know what we were doing, were we a business? So we started taking clients on the side. I'd always had a vision mm -hmm. of being an entrepreneur. I have entrepreneurs in my family. So it really started to come together for me. Yes, and for me, I didn't have that vision of being an entrepreneur, but I really wanted to have a big career and I wanted to pick up my kids from school every day. That was really important to me and something that was driving me. And when we started connecting, it kind of, these lights went off of like, oh, this is how I could do this. Exactly. And so we were working on corporate jobs, but we had this number in mind. And essentially the number was what it's gonna take for us to be able to still pay our mortgages, still support our families, and step into this business full time. And I remember the day we hit the number, we were in our corporate jobs, and I saw it in our bank account, and I called you and I was like, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> and we both walked in and resigned. <laughs> So from there, 1111 was born, and we really had to think about how we were gonna differentiate ourselves in the marketplace. We were stepping into an incredibly competitive space, so we developed the 1111 difference, and that's really the four pillars of our business. And the first one, the first thing we did really was set up our team globally, and that allowed us to work untethered, and it allowed us to work with top recruiters that lived anywhere in the world. So we were able to tap into their talent and work with the best. The other differentiator was that we created a business that is really centered around metrics and data and market insights. So that really drives our business and we actually produce reports uh, for our clients that allows them insight every week as to how we are progressing in our search. Which is really unheard of in the industry, right? Totally, yeah. yes. A lot of the times you work with a recruiter and you've got no idea what they're doing. Exactly. So we yeah. wanted to address, you know, all of those issues. Yeah. And then we also have two pillars around DE and I, which is a really integral part of our business. And we worked with a consultant to really set us up in this area and the best foot. So when our clients are working with us, they can just be rest assured that we're running a really inclusive process mm -hmm. in terms of the recruitment cycle. And then the last piece is EQ. I mentioned this at the start. Um, you know, we've really developed some great behavioral style interviewing to assess for emotional intelligence, which is a real key differentiator when we're thinking about the future of work. You know, one element of our business that I am so proud of is that we have developed a contribution philosophy and we did this from day one. I mean, Talent Lab days before we were even profitable as a business, we donated ticket sales. And as we've grown, we've been donating more and more and we really focus our contribution on areas that we really care about. And those areas are structural inequality, the gender pay gap and unconscious bias. And we've started to really make significant strides in this area and it brings us the most joy in our business. Yes.
Thank you for listening to our story and being a part of this ride that we are on. We have felt so much of the support of the community behind us, so thank you. And our hope is that you see yourselves in our story and just know that anything is possible for you. And so we really started, no. <laughs> Okay, wait, I'll start from there. Okay, ready? <laughs> Here we go.